Hello YouTubers and fellow Square Enix fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan and today we're continuing our Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. We stopped our previous episode after getting the Levy Stone and returning to the Croissant Lake. So right now we're just gonna get the item which required the Levy Stone and it's going to be a little surprise so you'll just have to wait and see what it is. Um, let me check on the map real quickly. Yeah, we have to go there, so... Gotta go up north. Just gotta beat these trolls. We're gonna go down to the desert. It's called Ryokan Desert. And we're not really there to fight monsters. We're really there for a different reason. Um, if I can actually go there, I think we can. Just have to continue down. Then left, there we go. From this point on, we can say goodbye to our ship. we now get this beautiful one the airship which can pretty much take us anywhere we want to go with a few exceptions <clears throat> you actually need the Levi stone to get the airship that's why we got the stone first. And this might actually be the only time... I don't think it can land on sand. Oh, it can. No, it can't, see? So that's actually the only time you'll see it standing on some piece of uh, sand. Alright. And with this, we open up a whole bunch of new things. Um, I'm gonna fly over to the northern continent. So we pretty much cleared the entire southern continent. There's not much more we can do here. There's a few things, but uh, for now we're just going to fly up to the north continent. And uh, I want to go to that desert. That's our next destination. You can also see how fast this thing goes. The good thing as well is that there's no random encounters. This is the desert, but we can't land in the desert like I said. So we gotta land it somewhere where there is um, some grass. And we actually have to check. I don't think we can land here, can we? No. Um, yeah. It seems to be entirely enclosed in... Oh, we can land here, I guess. Um, is this where we want to go? Or is there anything closer? I think this is where we want to go, this pillar. But, uh... Surprisingly quick. I'm not sure, can I land it here? I can't. I guess we're gonna try and land here. Let me just save, because I have no idea what we'll be encountering as random encounters on this island. The game data has been saved. I do believe that this tower 
um, is the Citadel of Trials. If it's not, then it's not the right uh, location. Well, we can't enter it, so I don't really think that this is the Citadel of Trials. Um. What is it then? Is that the Citadel of Trials? This might be the Citadel of Trials. Okay, I'm gonna go back. That's why I saved, because I don't know how dangerous this enemy right here is. Does a decent amount of damage. He has a, a lot of defense. A Desert Beretta. I'm gonna try and kill him with a blizzard. I'm not sure if he has the same amount of magic defense. He hurts quite a bit. He seems pretty resistant to my damage. At least melee damage. Magic damage, not so much. A lot of XP, only one gil though. So this is not the Citadel of Trials. Where could the Citadel of Trials be? Um, well, I think we can take these guys on. Let's go with Hilara. Let's go with Blizzara. My monk goes down. Let's see if I can get him back up. Even my warrior takes a whopping 137 attack right there. Or damage. Nope. In this game, it doesn't automatically select that person when you use life. I think that one's dead, yeah. Okay, let me please use life first. No, of course not. So my monk is gonna miss out on extra XP again. Or not. Or not. He's alive. Only one HP, so... There almost went my black mage. But I think he's dead now. Yeah, so these things are no joke. They are super powerful. I don't think we should be here yet. Just gonna spam some cure. There we go. Get into the airship. look like it. I don't know what that is, but I think I can land my ship here. Nope. Can I land it in the marsh? Nope. Hmm. This is uh, really confusing right now. Probably should have done a little bit of research. Are the red ones the ones I can enter, or...? Let's see, where's the big desert? Here's the desert. And if I go west... Going in circles, sorry guys. I'm really trying to figure out where to go next. This is a town. That doesn't seem to be the Citadel of Trials. What's up here? My map shows something here, but where is it? It's in the river. That must be behind the waterfall, I suppose. some uh, holes here. Lots of holes. What 
something else. This doesn't look to be a Citadel of Trials. Where is it? It's not very uh, forward when it comes to telling you where to go. You can't land anywhere in this continent either. Large desert. Guys, um, I might do a little cut here, and then once I've found the exact area, I will show you guys, because, wait, there's one more area here we haven't seen yet, it's over here. Maybe this is it. This might be it, though. Uh, but then we should be able to land here somewhere. Not here at least. Well, maybe it's here, but that's a long hike. No? Well, let's see. It's gonna put us uh, in a really long hike going southwest. But that actually looks like a citadel or some sort. So, uh. Yeah, let's see. I think that might be it. I think I found it, but it took half an episode just to find it. That's the thing with this Final Fantasy. I mean, later Final Fantasy, you actually get some clues on where to go. And here, it's like, here's your airship, good luck, have fun, bye. Not complaining, though, because I love this game, but... These guys look a little bit dangerous, maybe because they're dragons, I don't know. One is already dead. He's only doing one damage on my warrior. I guess this is the right location. These, uh, these enemies seem to be in, like, yeah, what I should be fighting at this point. Flow gained a level, HP increased, intelligence increased. Nice, finally my mage got some HP. So, having access to the uh, airship, as you can see, I said we can pretty much go anywhere, that's not exactly true. We can land on anything that's, um, what do you call it? We can land on anything that's grass. <clears throat> Fortunately, the entire northern continent is pretty much covered into areas where you cannot land. It's designed like that, so you still have to walk quite a bit. Once I've gotten the fourth crystal, or I think before I will do the final dungeon, that's the time I will uh, probably start completing my beast theory. Not sure if I should make another separate episodes for those, like unnumbered episodes, or just add them in there. And we are somewhat halfway, we're on the turning point now, going west. There's a bit of water, which is not a problem. You just canoe over it. A saber tooth, that's a new enemy, I believe. Those were tigers were also new enemies. As well as the the worms. So a lot of new enemies here. Those desert berettas were new as well, but I don't think we were actually supposed to go there yet. I was not able to enter that tower. I thought actually that was the Citadel of Trials. 
but it turned out it wasn't. We're going, we got the, 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 the airship now, so now we're gonna get another super, super important item, which will really help us. And once you see what kind of item it is, you'll be like, wait, really? Is this the legendary item you need? Yes, it is. Oh, one wear tiger. So everything that's has wear in it, or were, yeah, were I guess. Uh, they have, they seem to have the regenerative abilities to heal themselves, even though it's only a tiny amount. All right, let's see, Citadel. Finally, I found it. This uh, took uh, a little bit more than I wanted to. There's a sage. Came bearing the crown, I see. Your fur jute cannot be questioned, indeed not. Very well, I shall grant you the right to undergo the trials. Go now, sit upon the throne. Your courage will be put to the test. If true courage dwells within you, you will find the proof of it there. And the dude just teleported. Do I also get a teleport? No. Of course not. Okay. Um, I don't trust that chair. Maybe it's an electric chair or something. It has a teleport, nice. And these are teleporters, I believe. And now we have another one. So, so far, pretty straightforward. And we get a double one. Let's go to the bottom one. There's only a single one. I'm gonna keep getting the bottom one. So far only no encounters. Um, I'm gonna take the right one. Oh, there's the first encounter. Uh, Horned Devils, we encountered these before. I know these guys can cost Fyra. Their preference is fire, though, and a little bit of scratching. Even the scratches don't really seem to hurt my Black Mage that much. There's a lot of them. Probably should have just used Tundara or something. Paralysis on my Black Mage, and he missed. There's fire. They do have a decent amount of defense, though. Because my uh, mages don't seem to be able to do that much damage on them. My warrior and monk are still okay. <laughs> Just one more. Next time I'm countering these, I'm definitely gonna use a spell on them. They use fire, so probably Blizzara. There's a room here, and a chest with some weird stuff beside it, and that's a clay golem. Um, let's go with Lazara. Clay is kind of like stone, right? Oh, never mind. That was surprisingly weak. And gauntlets. Can I equip that or something? Sword. Where are they? Gauntlets. This. Gloves that cost Tundara when used. That's nice. Um, he can't. Maybe I should keep him in my inventory so I can use Tundara from there. I'm not sure if that works actually. Um, I guess we're gonna go down south. Oh! <coughs> Did we just go in circles? It seems like we already been here, so I think I took the wrong teleporter. I think I did. I think I'll need this one. Oh, there's more. Um, is there any more than this? I'm 
dragon zombie. Interesting. I think he's already dead now. Yeah. Um. So I guess that's also the wrong one. Let's try that again. Minotaur zombies, these are new. Similar model, but new enemies. That takes care of them. So, um, the right one. More Minotaur zombies. So we gotta find the right teleport because it will make us keep going in circles. These enemies are not super tough, so I'm definitely sure we're in the right area. There's some interesting mon uh, monsters here, enemies. Alright, let's see. I took already that one, which isn't the right one. More Minotaur zombies. These guys are so-so. I like their XP and money. And my warrior can one-shot them. They don't seem to have a lot of defense because even my mages can do about 50 damage on them. So, uh, I guess I'll take this one. Right, there's a staircase, so maybe this is the right one. Uh, ra ra Rakshasa. Rakshasa. New enemies. Let's go with Ahilara. And let's go with your strongest attack, Tundaga, I guess. Or Firaga, let's go with Firaga. Uh, these guys use fire as well, so I guess Tundaga would have been the better choice. Okay, maybe it's a waste of magic because these guys don't seem that tough. Let's see what my fire damage does against these guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Probably should have gone with Tundara. Let's just attack these because they're all low on HP now. I thought these guys were a bit more dangerous, but I guess I was wrong. There's a slow. That's the first time an enemy uses slow on me. I think what it does in this game, it actually decreases your amount of hit. So you can only do like one or two hits. And with uh, haste, you can increase your hits. But they use it a bit too late, I was already near killing them. Uh, nightmare, those are new. They look like the crazy horses from the beginning. Except they do a massive amount of damage. What does Snort do? Blind me, okay. Still able to hit him. Is that. No, okay, so that's only a temporary debuff. Uh, Rakshasa, these guys are no danger, so I'm just gonna kill them the old fashioned way. slow. And this is slow on the entire party. But it seems to only affect my warriors. Or a warrior and monk. It's actually a pretty good skill because they are the damage dealers, so without using magic it's gonna be hard for me to kill them. It takes a while. But I think he will go down this turn. Doesn't seem to end until I use haste or something. And 
is just a healing staff, so... A staff that costs heal when used, okay. So it's only a normal heal, so it's not too powerful, but... It doesn't cost me mana, so that's a good thing. I can just use a free heal. Let the nightmares hit themselves upon my warrior. And they're down. So let's go left here. There's three chests there, that's nice. A ruby armlet, interesting. An ice brand, I already have that one. And a steel gloves, alright. Let me check. Yeah, Ice Brand already have that one. Nothing interesting here. Eater is here. Ruby is not that strong for me. But you can use the staff though. Ruby armlet. Do I want this on my um uh, He does seem to be getting most hits, so I think I'll put the Ruby armlet on him. And then you guys are yeah. You'll probably I'll probably be able to bite him soon. Medusas. Uh oh. I don't like the word gaze. Gaze means petrify. Yep, there we go. This is not good. They're very weak though. They also have potion. I hope another per character doesn't get petrified. One is enough. Especially by a white mage. I just killed another one. Okay, gold needle on my warrior. He's back. And then just some fire out to kill off the other rest of the Medusas. So, kind of weak, but still dangerous. Gotta, gotta cure that potion. I'm just gonna heal up my black mage a little bit. He seems a bit low on HP. There we go. More chests. We have a cottage. We have a bit of gill. And some more gill. Rakshasa again. As long as they don't use, uh, what's it called, slow, they go down pretty quick. Yeah, we're cool. Oh, there we go, slow. I think it's too late already, he's just the only one. He's still getting pretty decent damage from my characters. Flow leveled up. How about Daewoo? 3 HP only, but another 10 MP. Okay, how about this? And that's the item we came for. That's the legendary item, the rat's tail. It's literally a tail of a rat. But it is probably the best item you'll find in this game, and I'll tell you why soon. New enemy here, the King Mummy. Let's attack this guy first. Don't want to see what he's up against, or what he's made of. Oh, he's kind of weak, he's already dead. This will probably kill off the rest of these mummies. There we go. And then we can sit on it. We could sit on the chair after this encounter, I guess. Um, these are zombie dragons, so fire and holy. Or holy or diara. Holy damage. This should at least hit them a little bit. There we go. And this should kill off both of them. There we go. Easy peasy. 
Just getting to level sober. There we go. And we can finally leave the Citadel of Trials after trying to find it for well probably ten minutes. There we go. Gonna save. I already used twelve save games, that's okay. As you can see we got two crystals, we got the rat's tail. We're doing pretty good. I'm uh, gonna heal up my characters first. There we go. And I'll end the video here, because the next video will have a very interesting uh, event going on. And um, because I took so long to find the Citadel of Trials, I already ran out of time to uh, continue this video. So I thank you guys for watching. I hope you uh, can bear with me as I found the Citadel of Trials after a long while. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell on the top right to be notified by any content I post. If you have any tips or suggestions, please leave a comment down below. I thank you guys for watching. This is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan, and I hope to see you in the next video.